Hey guys, welcome to The Gray State. I'm gonna be doing another little mini review and unboxing today with a cool little product that's kind of more on the custom side of when you think about high performance pistols and stuff like that. So I'm gonna be taking a look at a, uh, a new compensator from a company called Tyrant Designs. You guys might know them for more along the lines of like their skeletonized AR uh, grips and things like that. They create a lot of really cool Gucci stuff. Well, they also create this Unicomp and they reached out to me. I'm being completely transparent here. And they said, hey, would you wanna take a look at this and give it a go and do a little review on it? And I said, sure, why not? Send one over. So they did, they were super cool about that and I got it. And that's what we're gonna do today. So in typical gray state fashion, we're gonna take a look, see what's in the box. I'll go over some of the specifics and some of the options that they have and some of the, I guess the pros about this particular compensator, maybe over some of the others and then uh, and things to think about like that. And then we're just gonna shoot the snot out of this thing. It's gonna be really about reliability. I'm gonna go over the platform that I'm using today. Obviously, this is more of a customization kind of a piece when you think about what you're doing to your platform. So I'm not pulling something directly off the shelf. I'm gonna be using my uh, Gucci Glock over here. That's, and I'll kind of, I'll give you guys a rundown on what all's in there, especially when you start thinking about the recoil spring, because if those of you who have ever used compensators before, you know that the recoil spring is kind of an important part to make sure that ammunition runs and everything goes. There's a bunch of videos out there about the Roland Special and what makes it kind of a, a benchmark when you think about compensated tactical duty use uh, applications of compensators. Competitive uh, shooters use compensators frequently as well. Um, just helps you get your shots back on target and be real smooth stuff like that so today we're gonna go what's over in the box I'm gonna do some reliability testing we're gonna test two different types of ammo on both sides of the spectrum I'm gonna use some bottom of the barrel I hate to say that but just some Winchester 9 millimeter practice ammo some 115 grain stuff that 10 could be problematic when you're thinking about running a compensator you need some pretty good action going on there and then on the top end I'm gonna be using some plus B 124 grain atomic uh, match grade hollow points and uh, they're rated at 1300 feet per second so they should be pretty quick and then we'll just kind of wrap it up we'll see what everything goes oh the other thing I'm gonna measure recoil and to do that it's something that's very subjective a lot of times it's like ah oh, the recoil feels a lot flatter those kinds of things well there is a gadget out there that will actually let us take a quantifiable look at that and today I'm going to be using my Manus X and we're going to look at the numbers and see if there's anything any noticeable difference between not using a compensator versus using a compensator as far as uh, motion and grip and stuff like that so so I'm going to do my best with this guys today hope we have a lot of fun with it first thing I'm going to do is we're going to take a look at what's in the box we're going to go over the pistol and then we're going to get shooting Okay guys, let's take a look at what's actually in the box and do a little unboxing here. If you guys wanna take a look at some of the specifics, you can go out to tyrantcnc.com. They've got a really cool website and they can show you everything out there, plus a lot of their other stuff on the AR side, not just limited pistol and compensators. So we open it up and you can see here, it's a very simple uh, display of what's in here. We've basically got the Unicomp outer piece and then we have the, uh, the T-stem here. So a couple of things here I want to talk about right off the bat. First is the T-stem comes in three different colors according to Tyrant. It comes in this nickel plated here. It also comes in a gold color and then also a, um, a, a regular old black. It's very light. It's CNC'd, obviously, aluminum. So doesn't really affect the overall weight. Other things very quickly, you just get a little piece of paper here. It says, uh, over tightening the compensator may affect the function of your T-comp. Um, so make sure that you don't over tighten it. Use the provided wrench, make sure you use the O-rings and they give you a link to the installation videos, which by the way, I'm gonna be pointing to in this video as well. They're super simple. Um, they do provide a wrench for you so you can do the finishing job. You don't need any other things. You can basically take this right out of the box, go to the range, provided you have an appropriately threaded barrel and head right out. So. That's all I'm gonna talk about this. Super cool design, no set screws. It basically locks itself using two different inter-directional um, threads and how it works. And then what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna install it on here and we're gonna start shooting. So let's talk about what I got over here real quick so that you guys know what we're dealing with. All right, guys, so let's take a very quick look at the platform I'm gonna be using today. So this is what I call my Gucci Glock. It really is kind of a Franken Glock at that too. So uh, it's got a stock Glock grip on it that I've done some modifications and some cutaways and things like that just for some ergos. And then it's got a mix of um, a lot of agency parts on it, obviously a Trijicon RMR06. Uh, the big thing I wanna point out here though is I'm gonna be running a Agency Arms Level 3 match barrel. And then on the inside, I've got a uh, stainless steel guide, rod, uh, guide rotted aftermarket recoil spring set up. And that is the thing that I really want to point out here. And we're going to figure out today and look at reliability, things like that. Because the recoil spring, when you think about compensators and how they manage recoil with all the 
uh, gas going out in different directions and kind of redirecting it all. It's going to be one of those things that I want to take a look at and make sure that we don't have any reliability issues. And uh, we'll just kind of go from there. All right. So first thing first, I'm going to put the Manus X on here so we can start getting some baseline testing of what recoil looks like without the compensator on it. And then I'll start taking you through doing the first shots and all that kind of stuff. And I'll edit it all up. But we're going to see what happens here. And it's going to be unfiltered. It's going to be raw. And it's just going to be a day at the range. Let's get spreading some lead. Okay guys, first test is I need to create a baseline, right? I always do that. So to accomplish that, I'm gonna run this gun uncompensated. I'm gonna use my Manus X, I've got it installed here. I'm gonna do two different types of ammo, the bottom of the barrel stuff, the Winchester, that's gonna be the first one to go at 115 grains, it's gonna be 10 of them. Then I'll shoot the Atomic Plus P 124 grain, the hot stuff, get another baseline. I'll put the compensator, the Unicomp on here and see what kind of results I get. It's gonna be that simple. All right, it's the best test I can think of. We're gonna go for it, here we go. Unfortunately, I've only got one camera running right now. My other camera is my iPhone 11 Pro, and, and I don't want to use a GoPro, but you get the idea. All right, here we go, 10 shots. Casual shooting. 88, 2. 83.3. 87.3. 86.6. 86.3. 92, 73.9, 89.1, 67, 67.3, I don't believe that one, 96.3. All right, 10 rounds. Let's see what my average was there. My average was an 85, and I was just kind of goofing around. Okay. All right, guys, stupid simple. Next up is going to be the Atomic 124 grain plus P, 10 rounds, baseline. Here we go. This stuff is considerably hotter. I mean, I don't know if you've ever shot this stuff. It's up there. All right, 10 rounds. 82, 9. 92.8. 97.2. 60.9. 85.1, I think I focus a little hard because I'm trying to tame the beast here of the atomic. So let's see what our average is here. Let me grab this up. 10 shots, 86.1. So there we go. We got two good ones. We got 85, we got 86.1 out of just running an old, regular old uncompensated Glock. Now let's see what happens when we throw the compensator on. Okay guys, the total time elapsed has been about three minutes and I got the compensator installed. It was that easy. I got it ready to go. Uh, no issues at all. Stupid, simple to install. Um, really like the design, locks down really tight. No Loctite needed, anything like that. No set screws, it's just on worked flawlessly. So uh, only thing I want to mention is just make sure you watch your guide ride and your positioning. You might want to open up the slide and they show you how to do it in installation videos. You'll kind of rub up against it potentially depending on your uh, recoil spring that you have installed and the size of it. So anyways, first up is going to be 115 grain Winchester. We're going to see if there's any noticeable differences with the compensator installed. Here we go. 10 rounds. 82.9. 97.1. So I can tell you that the recoil felt tamer to me. I could feel the slide coming straight back. All right. They're so just kind of plinking around on the Winchester 115 grain. I went up to an 87.7. So that's a 2.7 gain, just kind of goofing around. All right. Let's take a look at the Atomic 124 grain plus P, see if there's any noticeable difference. And uh, again, last time when I fired this, I had like 86.1 was my average score using uh, no compensator. So let's see what happens when I use the Unicomp now. 10 rounds, here we go. 
All right, there's my 10 shots, all right? And I was at 86.1 before, 88.1 now. So just kind of goofing around with this, with this firearm, um, I saw almost like two points just by putting the compensator on there. All right, guys, really quick right there. Yeah, measurable results. I got a two-point increase. I was just plinking along. I wasn't trying to be super concentrating, any of that kind of stuff, really working on my trigger control, anything like that. I just wanted to see if I came out to the range, if there was a measurable, measurable result. This is the best version I could come up with it, just thinking about how can I quantify it, and I saw a two-point increase almost I identically on both of them between the two. So I consider that a success. Now I'm just going to load up a bunch of mags and just start having blast fest over here. Not to be ridiculous or anything like that or over gratuitous. It's because I want to test reliability and I want to see if this thing stays put. I'm going to put this thing through its paces. If I find any failures, anything like that, you guys will be the first to know. Let's do that. Seriously guys, it's like 40 degrees pouring right now. What do I do for you guys? All right guys, let's wrap this video up very quickly. So had an awesome couple of days shooting and yes, I did say couple. So things happen for a reason and we'll get to that here in a second. But first and foremost, 
I had an absolute blast checking out the Unicomp from Tyrant Designs. It was something that I normally don't do on the channel. Got an opportunity, which to which I want to say thank you to Tyrant Designs for thinking of me and reaching out to me on Instagram over DM. If you guys don't follow me there yet, you can follow me at Gray State Medic. That's what they did. They reached out to me and uh, just kind of said, hey, we got this new Unicomp. Would you be willing to check it out if we sent you one? No strings attached. And I said, sure, send it over. And they did. Great follow through, great communication, really passionate about what they do. If you go check out their website, they got a bunch of really cool stuff for skeletonization and customization of ARs, pistols, not just Glocks, not just universal stuff. Um, go check them out. Really cool company from everything that I've seen and nothing but good things to say about my email conversations with them. So solid dudes. So uh, yeah, the Unicomp, they sent it over and I had an absolute blast. So it was a great excuse to come out and put about 1400 rounds down a pipe. I've had no issues whatsoever. I'll just throw that out there. And uh, I had to do it over two days. The weather kind of sucked yesterday and uh, it wasn't a lot. It didn't allow me to do the drone work and all this other kind of stuff that I wanted to do and get the number of rounds and the shots and all that kind of stuff that I wanted to do for this video. And uh, it was a good thing that that happened actually, because it allowed me to kind of go back and think about things a little bit. And the first and foremost is I went back, tore the gun down, I took a look at it, and as easily as the Unicomp went on, it came off just as easy, I was able to clean it. And while I was going through that process, I had a couple of thoughts. One was, man, during the day, it didn't even feel like the thing was on my barrel. So I actually weighed it, and if you could believe it, even with some fouling still on it, not being squeaky clean, it weighed like 0.93 of an ounce. So less than an ounce, I imagine if I got the thing completely clean, it'd be closer to like point like nine tenths of an ounce in total weight. So super, super light. It's simple, you know, simple install, elegant. It just works. They give you everything that you need in the box, basically to go from box to range day with no issues. And uh, provided you have a one half 28 threaded barrel. So with that being said, that was thing number one that I thought of. Thing number two was, man, the other thing that's super cool about this is there's no set screws and you don't have to worry about any timing of the ports. And how does that work? Well, as I was cleaning, it became very obvious because there's two little channels down here that actually dwell the gas. And as the gas is coming down the barrel and as it's going through the ports, what it does is it comes down these two channels and kind of envelops back around and escapes out the top and out the front. Stupid, simple design, but really super cool when you think about it. So um, kudos to them for coming up with that idea. It was pretty cool. Um, and then, yeah, it just works. And then, so... With that, everything's super cool in the design, but it doesn't mean squat if it's actually not mitigating recoil for you. And that's something that's pretty subjective in my mind. You know, how do you really know? Are you just having a good day shooting? Are you having a bad day? So that's when I thought, hmm, I could probably throw the Manus X on there and uh, give it a go. And yeah, I saw a couple points increase in my overall proficiency as far as my recoil management was going just from the Manus X. But what also happened when I went back and I took a look at it last night was I saw that, um, on the follow-up shots that I did with the compensator on it, with the Unicomp on there, I was actually tending, it said the Manus X that I was breaking forward and anticipating recoil, which means that it was almost kind of like it was my natural compensation built in plus the compensator comp compensating like it should, and it was overcompensating just a little bit. So I need more practice time, but it means that the compensator was doing exactly what it was supposed to do. And if I did my part, I probably would have, uh, I probably had better scores than just a couple of points. It probably would have been a lot more positive than that. So that's a measurable, uh, statistics right there that I thought was pretty cool. And because I had to come back a second day and I kind of thought about it last night, I was able to come up, come away with that takeaway. So cool stuff there. Um, and then finally I wanted to test reliability and yeah, it's rock solid. You know, it's a simple design that just works. And, um, so whether or not you're trying to be a competitive shooter and you're looking for something that's no frills, that just works, uh, that works universally across a number of different pistols, this is going to be one for you. If you're looking for something to kind of build like your own version of a Roland Special or something like that, maybe it's a duty gun or EDC, again, it's just going to work. So had a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, 1,400 rounds over the course of two days through the pipe on this thing and uh, no reservations at all recommending it. And I want to thank Tyrant again. Tyrant Designs for sending one out, thinking of me. If you guys have any questions, uh, comments, things like that, be sure to put them down in the comment section. I'll be monitoring it. I'm going to put links to almost everything that I have here in the comment section, along with some of the other stuff, plus your website and the install videos and things like that. I super appreciate them thinking of me and sending it out. So that's it for this one, guys. Like, subscribe, all that normal stuff. Follow me on Instagram at Gray State Medic. And uh, hope you guys have a happy turkey day. And until next time, stay safe.